may not end well, this might end up really orange, but that's fine. <laughs> if it is too dark, I can still on Depop. <coughs> Positive light lip. Hi, I'm Liv, and today we're doing a full face of brand new products. So basically, majority of this is stuff I haven't used before. There are little bits and pieces like my mascara and my powder that I've not bought anything new because the stuff I want to try is completely out of stock. So those things are things I already use, but the rest of it is brand new. I'm just gonna get started and start with my primer. As you can see, I've already done my eyebrows and my eyeshadow. So that is because I don't have any new eyebrow product. As always, I literally never do brows really. I just use the same pencil every single day. Um, but I will start off with primer, which is just one I already own, which is the NYX Honey Dew Me Up Primer. I'm gonna whack this on and then we can get started with the first brand new product that's on nice and nice and tacky. And we're gonna start off with the first product and that is a Charlotte Tilbury foundation. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury's Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation. Best healthy looking skin day every day. So I'm just gonna open this. Actually gonna open it properly from, I broke the seal. <laughs> so I'm gonna actually open it. I literally don't break the seal on so I'm gonna use a product. I'll always open from the bottom so the seal isn't broken. This is in the shade 2N, 2 Neutral, which is the shade I have my foundation in, and the airbrush one. It looks really dark. Mm. It looks really dark. I mean, if it is too dark, I can sell it on Depop, but you get 30 milliliters in here and yeah it just pumps on the back of my hand and we'll see how this goes i mean i'm gonna use a little bit because i use half a pump of the airbrush foundation sometimes one pump um but i really don't use a lot of it so i'm gonna start off with that amount it doesn't look too crazy or anything it looks okay i mean my face is kind of tanned right now i don't quite know why it's like i've got a strange tan going on um I haven't been anywhere that's hot. I went to New York, so like I don't quite know what's happened. I'm just gonna put some of this on my cheek. Doesn't look crazy. Mm, doesn't look crazy. I'm gonna use a brand new brush as well. Like whacking out all the stops today. This is the Morphe M439. Um, just thought it'd be a quite a cute foundation brush. I mean, it looks like it could be quite good as a little buffing brush. Because my regular foundation brush is um. It's so dirty. I literally need to wash my brushes and that's why I bought this foundation brush was so I could wash my regular brushes whilst I use this. So that's the plan. <laughs> it's not like crazy coverage. It's like a nice coverage, but it's not like, you know, anything crazy. I am kind of a full coverage gal, but this, it's a strange one. I, it's definitely not full coverage. Like you can see it's very skin-like, that's definitely true. I've used all the stuff on the back of my hand and I've not even done half my face. So we'll try a full pump. That's a full pump. We've just had half a pump. Um, I'll try and do the rest of my face with this and then I'll give you my opinions. I have like mixed opinions. I think this is definitely buildable, I think. Um, I definitely understand the whole beautiful skin claims and like how it's like your skin but better. Um, I definitely get that because this does look pretty skin-like. It looks like this could be my skin and it doesn't look like, you know, a cake face or anything. It doesn't look like a full, a full face sort of thing. It doesn't look like full coverage, like, crazy coverage it doesn't look like that but it does have coverage so like it's a weird one like my face is glowy and you could definitely see you can kind of see my skin through it but at the same time it's not like a matte cake face like my airbrushed one which i love but i also love this i love the finish of it it's so much more like dewy and with bronzer for contour um i just want to also say i i do like the foundation it's pretty cool um it's a little bit dark for me <laughs> But concealer will lighten that up, it'll be fine. So for bronzer, we have got the Solar Paint from Glossier. This is what it looks like. I have the shade Ray. Hopefully this will be fine. So I'm just gonna whack this straight onto my face. Cream contour is like one that either works or doesn't, I find. It's a little bit high up, but that's my fault. It has got a smell to it, but like I can't tell. It's nothing nice, it's just, there's not like a, a like a floral smell or anything to it. 
there was just like a bit of a smell coming through. I will say that the applicator is a little hard to use just because I'm used to really solid stuff to like put on my face. So like my sticks and stuff are all quite hard. Um, even the Made by Mitchell stuff, the end is quite hard. These, the doe is quite flimsy. Like, look, you can see it like will just bend very easily, um, which is kind of difficult because it was just like sliding all over, all over the place there. It is quite a warm tone bronzer, so this may not end well, this might end up really orange, but that's fine. <laughs> use my Morphe brush, just gonna take a blending brush, I don't know what this is, uh, V108, it's just a small brush, and I'm just gonna blend this out everywhere. Okay, it's not blended into like nothing, it's, it's quite nice. Okay. Yeah, I can work with that, that's fine. I also want to add that after contour, I always look a bit, a bit orange and a bit like I'm tanned on my face or nowhere else. But that is when concealer comes in later on and then um, fixes everything. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. That blended out quite nicely. That's okay. I know it looks kind of crazy, but if you look up my other YouTube videos, this is what my contour looks at this stage, so it's fine. The real test to see if my contour is working is here and here. It's not too muddy. It's slightly muddy, but not majorly. It's okay. I'm going to take a bigger brush. This is my Morphe M406. I didn't know I was turning into a Morphe girl, but there's a shop over the road from me at my accommodation where my, my flat is. So it's just the easiest place for me to get brushes rather than like ordering anything. I can just go over the road and go to Morphe. And there was major deals on recently, which is why I've got, I've got like, did I get like five brushes? Um, because there was, the deals were really good. I got like five brushes for about 40 quid or no, 30 quid in total or something. That's okay. That That's really, oh, that's amazing. You'll see what I mean when I put my, con my contour on, my contour is on, my concealer but that is like beautiful. That is so like holiday-esque it's giving me, like really holiday vibes. Cause that bronzer is beautiful. It's gonna be amazing in the summer. In the winter, it kind of like gives me a nice glow. Oh, now we have blusher next. So I'm stuck between these two Glossier paint things, cloud paints. So I've got Puff and Beam. I feel like Beam is a safe one and Puff is like bit more out there and I kind of want to try puff I really like the look of it it's a pink but beam I don't know if that works better I feel like beam's boring let's let's go for it I'm gonna use puff it looks like and I'm just gonna take the foil off okay so I'm gonna take a bit on the back of my hand oh that's a lot we can work with that that's a lot <laughs> Ooh, okay I'm gonna take this big fluffy brush. It's not a fluffy brush. It's my contour brush um, for my cream products. And I'm just gonna blend it out. I don't know. Oh, that's very bright. Oh God, I don't know how to use these yet. Hopefully this blends up pretty sure. Okay, it does. You can literally see nothing. That's fine. <laughs> Better be buildable than crazy pigmented. These are like the polar opposite of the Rare Beauty blushes. The Rare Beauty ones is like pigment. And I love that, but I was expecting that. These, it's definitely a buildable thing. I definitely think that little blob was enough because that's it's, it's a nice pinky sheen, I think. So, yeah, I like that. It's pretty nice. Next, I'm doing concealer and then we do highlighter. So, the concealer I'm going to be using is a Rare Beauty one. So, this is the Liquid Touch brightening concealer in the shade 110 neutral it says it's moisturizing buildable concealer that melts seamlessly into skin for undetectable cake free coverage we will see about that i don't know if this is too light i don't know if it's too dark we will see quite cute packaging i, I love the rare beauty packaging it reminds me of um what's it called remember that like it's not lego it was what you had before lego with the little pieces um and there were little like characters and everything was like round. It was like Playmobil. Um, that's what it reminds me of. So I'm gonna take some of this and I'm gonna take it where I normally take things. I'm gonna take it where I normally put my concealer. That sounded so weird. Chin. 
Oh, okay, that's fine. Someone here. This dofa is not what I was expecting. It's like really triangular. Um, take some under my eyes. And that's that's it, that's everything. Looks pretty light, looks good. So this is where we're gonna use another new product. This is what I'm excited to try. It's the sponge, the Coco by Chloe Cosmetics sponge. Look how big this is. Look how big this is. If you wanna know the like what it looked like before, before the water, go check out my other videos where I showed this. This is massive. I love this. It's giant. I've never used it yet and it feels beautiful. It feels so light and squishy. It's weightless. There's no water left in it, which I love because usually my sponges, I run them under water, I drain it, and then it's still heavy. It still has water in, but this doesn't. This is like amazing. Okay, it's kind of hard to get into the little corners because of how big it is. It's fine. I can work with that. Okay. I mean, I love the sponge. I just think I understand why normal sponges are the triangular angle that they are. Whoa, that gets dirty fast because it's white. God. Seal is pretty nice. I think it looks okay. As I said, the concealer really makes the face look normal, like compared to my neck. Um, and I do believe it has done that. <laughs> sponge is so dirty now. Oh, I need to wash that straight away after one use. I just can't with my sponges being dirty and gross. I can't. The next thing we have is a highlighter. This is the Positive Light li li Positive Light Liquid Luminizer from Rare Beauty. I have this in the shade Mesmerize, which is Selena Gomez's favourite shade. This is the one she uses. I do have another one, but I just wanted to try this one out. So it's really pink toned, which I thought would be a good one for today. Again, Playmobil, sort of reminds me of. Okay, this Dofa is giant. I do like the look of the concealer the more I look at it in the viewfinder, but I just don't know. Like, maybe I'm being too critical. Maybe when I go away from this camera, I'll be like, wow, that's amazing. Um, hopefully. So I'm going to take my cream contour brush and just blend it out. Be pretty. It's not as blinding as the Emma Mitchell one, but I do like it. I think it has a pretty glow. Nice. I like that. That's nice. I do think it's very pretty. I definitely think the gold one would be like very like wow in your face because it is like a white gold. Um, but I'm very impressed with that. I like it. That's really, really pretty. I'm going to powder down off camera because it's just, I'm going to use a L'Oreal True Match because I've drawn a positive light. Li li I want to have a go with this and my RCMA, I'm just gonna do it off camera because there's no point me wasting time doing it here. Wow. I've never actually properly used this before, so technically this is also in a full phase of new products, but this is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Perfecting Powder. I love this. I mean, my skin looks airbrushed. That is crazy good. I was gonna do this at all off camera because I thought it's a product I've had in my drawers for ages and why would I want to show that? She's beautiful. I can't, that's amazing. Unless you could have gotten a lemon say this looks as airbrushed, almost as airbrushed as my Charlotte Tilbury powder. I think that's pretty good. I'm very happy with that. Definitely going in some going in something now that I definitely have used before on camera. This is the better than sex mascara. That hasn't scratched to try, so I'm just gonna whack this on. I think this makeup looks really, really good. I like it a lot. So we're gonna go in with lipstick. So, don't have a new lipstick, but I have a new lip gloss. This is the Kylie lip gloss in the shade Daddy's Girl. And I'm gonna use my Maybelline lipstick because it's a pink and that'll work with this, I think. thing I have to try is this setting spray and this is the Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist from e.l.f. Now, Sofa's Life used this and it looked amazing. Now, that's the only reason I want to try this. How do I get this off? This is the most unsatisfying thing in the world. Oh, it's one of those ones with a ball in it, isn't it? I'm gonna get the mist to work in. It smells quite nice. Did that even hit me? I didn't feel anything. I think the mist is too fine. Um, yeah, the mist. 
the mist is really fine to the point where you can't feel it. I think I've just wasted a good 10 milliliters of that. <coughs> you can't feel it but you can taste it if i'm just going i can't feel anything which i don't like i prefer to be able to feel my mist on my face because i feel like that's when i know it definitely hit my face and it's not gone past onto my hair say this foundation as much as it didn't seem full coverage it's a beautiful skin like foundation um but at the same time it's really really good at making your skin look beautiful I agree with what it says on it it makes your skin look beautiful and it makes you your it just makes you look good that's, it. that's the whole makeup look i hope you have enjoyed my hair is atrocious today i don't know what's going on i've just got back from new york and my hair always goes funny when i come back from a holiday almost christmas guys almost christmas i am so excited bye so it's been about 20 minutes and i thought i may as well check in with some natural lighting i'm not going to do a big like check in like throughout the day because it is actually night right now like it's like seven o'clock at night no it's not it's five o'clock why did i say that it's five o'clock at night so i'm just showing you this in natural lighting i did change my lipstick i have now got on my dior because i really was not feeling the, the baby pink like the bubblegum pink it was just not a vibe for me but this is what the makeup looks like in natural lighting the bronzer is super natural but i do love it um you can build it up of course just adding more bronzer it will build it up easily i love the foundation it looks very skin like it definitely matches my neck like to a t i feel like everything just looks really really pretty and super super flawless and airbrushed like filtered so yeah i do like it a lot i feel like the powder as well was brilliant even though that wasn't even in that wasn't even meant to be included i was just going to use that whack of powder on and that powder was amazing so yeah this is the whole makeup look the highlighter is beautiful it's definitely glowy of course buildable as well that's the main thing with everything here it's all majorly buildable you can build it up to whatever level you want and i feel like that's really, really good because it's not like straight away crazy but yeah this is what it looks like um, yeah. Bye. <laughs>